what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In the wake of DMX's death on Friday, his family has issued a statement regarding rumors that have circulated regarding his masters to his recordings. And apparently, some people are even selling merchandise to raise funds for his funeral. There have been a few rumors following our loved one Earl Simmons' passing that we'd like to clear up. No one has bought Earl's masters. Additionally, we are not selling any merch or raising money for Earl's funeral. If anyone is requesting money for his funeral, please be aware that person is a scammer. They went on to say that they would keep the public abreast of any arrangements for his funeral. Hey fam, there are really some low grade people out there trying to hustle merch in the name of a dead man, pretending that they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart to help the fam. Boy, that's cold-blooded. That is cold-blooded. I'm glad they cleared that master staying up because people are a trip, fam. They are a trip. I mean, they had that article about Jay-Z and Beyonce buying DMX's masters. I think it was like a $10 million price tag. I mean, they just had it everywhere. Like it was official. Man, you got to, anything you see on the internet. Remember that commercial a while back? <laughs> this uh, lady and the guy was outside talking. And the lady said, well, it's on the internet. It must be true. A lot of people believe it. Anything they read on the internet, they, they keep forgetting that just like a book or a newspaper, the internet, the information you see on the internet was compiled by people. It was posted by people, human beings, who lie, who have their own agendas. Now you gotta be very careful because they got these satire websites out there and they'll make something seem I mean, they look official. So that's why anytime a major news story hit, and you got to make sure that you like double check, triple check the source, get at some of the majors and see what they're talking about and corroborate that with another one, like, and, and cross check it with the next one and that one, because man, people be putting out all kinds of crazy information you know, just for the hustle, just for the clicks and the likes. I don't know what DMX's financial situation was, but apparently it was good enough for the family not to want a GoFundMe page set up in his name or to solicit donations. That's where I am. If you see a GoFundMe or somebody asking for donations in the event of my demise, know that it is a scam. Because I'm straight. And I'm going to be straight. Lord, say the same. I think that's one of the most important things that a person can do for their family. To make sure that you don't leave a financial burden behind. Because once you die, you can't fix it, you know? If you're alive and you, know, you blow the bag, you can always correct it, you know? As long as you got oxygen, as long as you're breathing, you got action, you know? You go back out there and reclaim the bag. But once you die and the bread, it's all messed up. If you blew the bag, man, you can't get that back can't fix that. So yeah, you see anything like that in the event of my demise, you know, know that it is straight up a hustle. But damn, man, I just can't keep thinking about it, man. People are something else, man. 
selling merchandise in this man's name. And he's dead. Selling the merch for their personal gain. Not to help the family, but to help themselves. People like to say that money is the root of all evil. I disagree. I mean, money is up there, but so is love, lust, hate, self-hate, and jealousy. I look at it like we got a bunch of clowns that's walking around. And the world is a stage. Money is just the hype man. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?